Yes. Hello. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Dipanshu. I'm from the per Persistence One organization. I serve as the CTO there. And we, along with IXO Foundation, with support from ICF, have been uh, leading the working group on the interchain uh, NFT standards and metadata. So, like, we have been working on this uh, uh, on this particular standard with the working group for a couple of months now, and we have been able to uh, like uh, solidify. Uh, certain uh, design and requirements and use cases around with it, uh, with the help of few organization, few uh, projects from the Cosmos ecosystem, as, as well as from other ecosystems in the interchain ecosystem uh, right now. So today I'll, I'll, I'm going to discuss a little bit about the work we have done, the standards that we have defined define the use cases and user stories we have set around this particular uh, standard. So to kick off, uh, what are NFTs? In, in general, like on the Cosmos ecosystem, we have, we have got the uh, coins interface defined, which, uh, which represent the uh, denom and the amount of, of, of the tokens that we have. Denom being the name of the of the token itself and amount representing the quantity of the token. So if we were to extend this particular uh, metaphor, this particular terminology, uh, if these coins were associated with certain uh, metadata and the uh, enumeration or the amount of uh, these tokens were singular, then technically it would be an NFT or a non-fungible token. Uh, Non-fungibility implies uh, that uh, one token of one certain kind is not exchangeable or not the same as any other token. So, for example, one atom might be interchangeable or, or uh, indistinguishable from another atom. Uh, An NFT is definitely distinguishable from another NFT, although it might be of the same class or uh, standard. So uh, the the task that that uh, the standard that we are defining is around a native interchain NFTs, and uh, and this uh, significantly differs from the current standards around NFTs. Uh, the uh, current standards being uh, majorly defined on Ethereum smart contracts uh, as interfaces. For example, the ERC, the most popular one being ERC721 or ERC1155 or ERC994. Uh, so uh, these NFT standards, though, are uh, very focused towards the smart contract based implementation. And the smart contract based implementation uh, does differ a little bit from. Uh, the native uh, interfaces or native implementation or native standards for NFTs. Uh, in in saying so, uh, for example, the smart contract based approach does not allow for a singular wallet for multiple formats of NFTs. Uh, if one were to uh, one were to check the balance of all the NFTs they might have of of the ERC seven twenty one kind. They, there is no one wallet representation. One has to go and uh, and uh, uh, maybe query each and every ERC721 smart contract that exists out there to get to know about their balances across across all of these uh, smart contracts. So uh, secondarily, uh, although the smart contract and the ownership logic transfer may be interoperable between multiple smart contract, but the uh, smart contract based implementation does not account for transfers of these NFTs across chain. Uh, so by transfer, I do not only mean the ownership uh, transfer logic, which may be available through wrapped tokens. Uh, I also refer to the uh, mutability and metadata uh, associated with with these NFTs too. Uh, 
So the uh, the the native interchange standard uh, aims to implement uh, these uh, these uh, uh, like NFTs at the very native level, at the at the chain code level itself, which can interact with other uh, uh, modules present in in the native uh, implementation. For example, uh, it can refer to the basic uh, like uh, wallets. It can refer to the stake staking or slashing modules, etc. Et too, and will also be. Uh, interoperable across uh, the different chains, the different dApps in the interchain world. Uh, now to define this uh, native inter NFT uh, 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 standard, there are a couple of there are a couple of challenges that we face. Uh, one of some of them uh, being listed here. Uh, uh, for for there to be a common standard for interchain NFT, although each NFT implementation, each NFT use case, might be very widely varying for the from the other one. If one were to define one common standard for NFTs, the the uh, ownership transfer logic must be standard across all the participating chains. So, uh, like irrespective of the use case, the identifier for the NFT, the way to generate these identifiers must be decentralized, must be uh, singular, and must allow uh, for the transfers through a single uh, transaction, irrespective of the chain, uh, across the different chains. And there to be a wallet that can hold these uh, uh, NFT ownership representations across chain. Uh, each NFT, uh, the second, second challenge being the metadata structure, uh, metadata representation, and mutation logic itself. So again, NFT uh, implementations might vary from uh, representation to representation, uh, from uh, application to application, and the metadata might itself be uh, varying, but the standard needs to define a standard set of metadata and the representation across wallets so that irrespective of the dApp, uh, each NFT from these different uh, applications could be singularly representation. It could be singularly represented. And the mutation logic should uh, allow for all of these use cases to exist, though allowing for, a, a, for one single uh, uh, code implementation. Uh, the third being the identifier itself. So we currently are uh, following the decentralized uh, ID or DID standard to define the identifiers for these NFTs, which implies that there should be no single uh, centralized uh, uh, identifier issuing logic, which uh, like, for example, uh, correlates a randomly defined identifier to an object. The identifier itself should be uh, a recreatable through a standard set of logic uh, based on maybe the content of the NFT or uh, the surrounding uh, criteria of the dApp in such a way that the identifier is a uh, recreatable without there being a central authority and be be resolvable across the interchain uh, universe across the multiple chain that exists that multiple d app that exists in the interchain universe and be represented singularly uh, the fourth is the uh, nft uh, metadata and representation itself uh, uh, again uh, the way that uh, all the coins on current Cosmos implementation could be represented singularly. Each NFT across different dApp must have a singular mechanism or a language to uh, express the content. The content itself, uh, the metadata itself might be of varying type. For example, it might be uh, uh, the fields might be a number of strings, uh, fields, or numbers, or uh, GIFs, or 
um, uh, video clips with audio, etc. But irrespective of the implementation, the, our wallet must be able to represent these NFTs, irrespective of where they were issued or which app they issued, into one singular wallet as one singular uh, representation that looks the same, that that feels the same across different wallets. Uh, uh, NFT objects itself, since we are uh, planning to uh, define them as interchain uh, and interoperable, an NFT may or may not uh, reference other uh, objects or NFTs themselves. So the metadata must allow for composability of the NFTs and referencing of other identities and metadata and NFTs. And these metadata NFTs identities could be across the uh, anywhere uh, across the interchain universe and the standard must allow for the composability of these nfts across the interchain universe and finally the on-chain and off-chain metadata verifiability so the metadata uh, it's due to the storage restrictions on the dApps themselves may or may not be off-chain so the metadata should be uh, cryptographically verifiable and through, let's say, uh, checksums or hashes or uh, other logics. Uh, but not only that, the verifiability also implies uh, real world verifiability. For example, uh, the identity of a person that holds the NFT now the identity 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 of the person itself is something that may be verifiable that uh, that may not be cryptographic in nature the identification itself might be through some real world logic etc uh the nft might be representing a real physical asset a real physical commodity now one one needs to verify if that particular uh, physical asset or commodity exists in the real world or not which implies that there to be a, a, a way which implies there to be a mechanism for this verification to be represented with the NFTs. So one can do it, for example, through signatures, cryptographic signatures. Uh, for example, uh, for a, a self-sovereign identity NFT, uh, a, I might uh, uh, proclaim that I uh, uh might have graduated from university xyz and attach it to my identity now this is a verifiable claim but the ver verification is non cryptographic it's a real world verification and the verifier themselves uh may or may not be the uh the university xyz itself that proclaim that 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 can digitally sign this particular nft verifying this claim or it could be another authority uh for example my employer that has verified this claim and may may be able to uh, represent this verification uh, through a cryptographic signature of this particular field of metadata with my nft so these these are the like real challenges that we face uh just to reiterate a uh, single representation, single signed representation, non-replication across the interchain universe, uh, accommodate different application logic, uh, define a singular decentralized identifier, define a single representation uh, and wallet for these NFTs, uh, a composability or uh, a referencing of uh, metadata identities and NFTs across chain, and verification of these claims, verification of the data uh, content, not only cryptographically, but to allow for mechanisms for verifiability through uh, the, through real world processes and having a representation uh, linked to these NFTs as well. So uh, given these challenges uh, 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 and, and the use cases, uh, that we collected through multiple stakeholders of, of the working group, we were able to uh, define a few uh, core set of characteristics that this particular in, an interchain NFT implementation 
uh, must adhere to, must implement. Uh, some, some of them are like driving directly from the challenges that we just referenced to, for example, uh, uniquely identifiable. So uh, this, this particular uh, uh, like uh, uh, characteristic implies that uh, given the content, given the uh, metadata of the, uh, of the uh, particular NFT, and irrespective of where this NFT was uh, instantiated across the interchain uh, universe, uh, this particular NFT must be uniquely identifiable and should not be duplicated or copied in the interchain universe. Uh, the second is ownable. Own ownability implies that uh, since NFT is a uh, is a, a token and uh, an ownable asset, it's not just metadata. This particular NFT must be able to be represented as being owned by a particular identity or a key and the ownership must be cryptographically uh, verifiable uh, third is resolvable given the identifier given a single singular identifier for each nft one must be able to uh, one must be able to resolve and be able to locate this particular nft across the interchain universe so Resolvability is something similar to, let's say, a uh, URI, uh, where given the uh, URI string, uh, one is able to identify and resolve the underlying uh, web app. Similarly, the, given the, uh, and, uh, the identifier for this NFT, the NFT itself should be resolvable across the uh, interchain universe the same way uh, a web app or a resource is uh, identifiable through uh, the URI in the internet universe. Uh, fourth is decentralized, of course, since, since we are talking here uh, about NFTs in context of uh, a public decentralized blockchains, uh, this is also one of the core uh, requirements, the core characteristics of the interchain NFT standard that we're defining. Uh, the uh, uh, the standard should not uh, be, and the NFT representation themselves should not be dependent on one singular issuing authority or central authority or a persistent layer or an application to exist for this particular implementation to work. Uh, fifth uh, is directly leading from uh, the point fourth, uh, which is persistent. Uh, what that implies is that irrespective of uh, where the NFT got uh, originated, the NFT representation must not depend on a, a single custodian, a single DApp or a single chain to exist for it to exist in the interchain universe. Uh, since uh, this particular standard is interchain, uh, the, the ownership and the representation of the NFT uh, is transferable across different D apps, and the underlying representation should not, underlying uh, uh, entity should not uh, disappear or stop existing uh, based on there being a underlying custodian or an underlying D app to exist. Uh, so, uh, like this, this being one of the key components. Uh, that is uh, like uh, missing from the current set of implementations of even even the coins that we currently have. Uh, the point six is uh, cryptographically verifiable. Uh, the ownership, the uh, off-chain metadata, uh, the assertions on the uh, underlying resources and the rights uh, pertaining to the NFT should be uh, cryptographically verifiable <clears throat> and uh, authenticated across identities or across the underlying metadata or resource, physical resources. Uh, seventh is stateful. Uh, the state changes 
the state changes which may may be uh, the ownership transfer of the NFT or metadata uh, mutation uh, of the NFT must follow a state machine must be stateful where all these states follow a certain fixed logic and can be tracked back to the original state themselves. So yes, these are the like seven uh, main core uh, characteristics identified for this particular NFT interchain NFT standard. And based on them, uh, based on them, based on these core uh, characteristics, uh, uh, we have like uh, allowed for or considered uh, these uh, basic requirements or use cases. Each use case may or may not uh, like represent the full set of these requirements, inter NFT standard requirements uh, presented here but uh, might be a combination of all or none of these uh, requirements. So if we, if we look at the capability tokens, capability tokens is a special use case which uh, may not even uh, lie within the requirements that we have collected till now for the uh, NFT standards. So uh, some of these requirements being mintable, uh, mintability implies there to be logic for a new NFT to be created. Of course, not all use cases will require mintability in some scenarios at Genesis itself. Uh, all the set of NFTs to exist will have already existed. Uh, burnable, which implies either on the destruction of the underlying asset or uh, the end of the lifetime of the NFT itself. The NFT must be through a transaction burnable. Ownable implies that for a way for the NFT to be uh, owned by identity or a private key, which might assert uh, or, uh, rights over the NFT and might enjoy rights issued from the NFT. Uh, transferable implies uh, there to be logic for uh, the order of the NFT to transfer the ownership and the rights to a, to, uh, this, uh, to a different uh, identity or key. Non-transferable implying in some scenarios, under certain circumstances, the NFT might not be transferable at, and, and should uh, not be, tra be transferred to certain identities or chains or dApps. And the NFT should be able to uh, represent this non-transferability. Sixth is lockability. Uh, uh, an NFT based on certain conditions, for example, the current block height or uh, the uh, uh, environmental factors uh, uh, related to the interchain universe or the DApp itself must be locked and on uh, uh, certain conditions being met, for example, the maturity block height uh, getting reached or a governance uh, proposal uh, getting approved should, should be uh, unlockable and uh, allow for transferability back again. Seventh is immutability. Uh, some or all of the metadata related to an NFT may be immutable. Now, this immutable characteristics uh, can be utilized to generate DIDs for the NFTs, and uh, the NFT must or, or should allow for these immutable characteristics to uh, exist and not only exist, but enforce the immutability of these characteristics even when the NFT uh, uh, logic and metadata is transferred across chains. Eighth is mutability. A certain set of the data or fields related to the NFT might be mutable. Uh, the logic of these uh, uh, of, of uh, the mutation related to these NFTs must be represented uh, through this NFT standard and also be enforced uh, based on certain conditions as well as the rights of uh, uh, of of the mutating authority uh, in all in certain scenarios the mutation the rights to mutate the metadata of an nft may not lie with just the owner of the nft but might be linked to an issuing authority and a dap or an organization and this particular uh, characteristic of 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 or rights to mutate the metadata must be enforced throughout the entertain universe. Ninth is fractional. Uh, not all NFTs 
might uh, be uh, transferable as a single unit, but some of them may require the ownership representation to be fractionally transferred or owned by multiple stakeholders, and the NFT should allow for that. A tenth is composable. Uh, as discussed, uh, NFTs can or should be able to reference to other resources, metadata, identities, wallets, dApps, etc., across the interchain universe and be able to compose on top of each other. For example, uh, NFT that uh, represents, uh, for example, a, a piece of land or, or an ownable. And if it belongs to, let's say, another organization, that organization must be able to compose with this NFT and be able to represent that asset as the contents of that organization. Uh, and 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 uh, uh, for other uh, like ways to compose NFTs as well. For example, uh, just through uh, parts of the metadata of one NFT being able to be composed with other uh, NFTs themselves, or it could be identities or wallets, etc. Also, that across the interchain universe, for and it should be possible for one NFT to be able to link or be composable with those resources. 11th is conditional. Uh, so conditional implies the application logic behind the NFT around uh, a more complex mutation of NFTs uh, that, that may or may not include ownership, transfer, rights, uh, verifiability, etc. So these are the basic requirements that our current standard of inter NFT standard uh, uh, it takes into account and fulfills. Uh, this uh, requirements should uh, be able to fulfill uh, the use cases mentioned here, uh, like uh, collectible or financing tokens, impact tokens like uh, carbon credits or CSR for organization, access tokens representing rights, for example, movie tickets, etc., art tokens representing the content in themselves, for example, GIFs, images, uh, physical property, which represent underlying uh, phys physical real world assets, data token represent representing the data, content of the data itself, uh, credential tokens, for example, uh, credentials to a uh, Netflix account, uh, for example, capability tokens, which might represent more complex uh, use cases commodity tokens uh, representing uh, commoditized uh, uh, NFTs, which represent one class, but are non-fungible uh, among themselves. Uh, yep. So this uh, uh, the current like uh, implementation and the uh, standards, et cetera, are have been documented and defined in 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 the website uh, given below. If if anyone would want to uh, follow through and 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 uh, look at the work that has been done already, uh, the documentation, the RFCs or the request for comments on these standards have been uh, re uh, recorded in repositories at the uh, at the uh, GitHub repository mentioned here. Uh, one could uh, also discuss about these standards and if they would want to participate in the development of these standards at the Telegram group, which has been linked here, or uh, even uh, even better, can directly uh, discuss on the Discord, Discord topic under the Co Cosmos channel uh, named Inter NFT uh, and Metadata uh, topic. Uh, so looks like uh, we are at the end of our uh, session's uh, time duration. And yes, I would uh, want to thank you guys for listening in. And yeah. yeah, this was fantastic. Thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, we're going to transition to our next talk now. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.